PSP is transitioning all their plugins to be protected by the iLock, or PACE, system. iLock provides a lot of flexibility in managing your authorizations. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through everything you need to know for installing and authorizing your new PSP plugins. You can use the optional hardware iLock dongles, or you can use software authorizations, all managed from the same interface. We'll guide you through the simple steps to get up and running quickly. First, you may have bought your PSP plugin directly from the PSPAudioWare.com site. If so, you then you already have a PSP account. However, if you bought your PSP plugin from a different vendor, you will now need to create a free PSP account, which you can do at PSPAudioWare.com slash resellers. Regardless of where you bought the plugin, you'll also need a free account at iLock.com, which allows you to administrate all your iLock licenses. This goes for both hardware and software license methods, which we'll show in a moment. Grab the free license manager download, and then while it's downloading, click the button to create an account. Then go ahead and install the license manager application. Now you can install and authorize your new PSP plugin. Log into your account at the PSP user area and download the correct installer for either Mac or Windows, then run it. Before you leave your user area on the PSP site, copy the PACE authorization code to the clipboard. The last step is to launch the iLock License Manager. Sign in, then click the button at the top right to redeem an activation code. In this window, you can paste the code you copied from the PSP website. The iLock License Manager will then prompt you for an activation location, and you can choose your iLock account if you want to save it for later or use software authorization for the computer you're on, or authorize the physical iLock plugged into this computer. After confirming the activation, your PSP plugin is now ready to use. Now, let's look at a couple of advanced topics you may come across in the future. This particular plugin gave you three simultaneous licenses. This means that you can use it on up to three computers at any time. If you want to use a second or a third license, it's simple to do. Click on the main user account in the top left, then drag the plugin license to its second destination. In this case, I'll authorize my local computer via software authorization. Now, this computer won't need the physical iLock connected to it anymore, and I could move that iLock to a second computer that needs it. If you're about to upgrade computers or parts of your computer like the motherboard or the hard drive, you will want to deactivate the software license before doing so, so you don't lose it. Here, I'm looking at my physical iLock, which has one license of Nexcellence. If I right-click on Nexcellence, I can use the option to deactivate it, which puts that one license back into my user account, ready for future use. By using these tools, you can effectively manage all your iLock licenses, whether software authorized or hardware authorized. You can move them between your iLock account, your physical computer, and any connected hardware iLocks. Thanks for watching, and we hope this has been of help. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to email us at support at